bring to fall the giants. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Excellency Esports. If you're just joining us, we're bringing you hot here into this drafting phase of Team Redacted versus Degenerates Ascension. Right into this first game, Redacted proved themselves as a metal hard to be here, taking down what is a previously tested roster that is Degenerates Ascension into game one. Either way, though, we're going to be pushing this one forward as we walk through this draft, of course, again, with my main friend, Shellatron. Zephyr, we have a very, very interesting series on our hand here. A very convincing win from Redacted, but we are already deep in the ban phase, and we're seeing a bit of a similar setup here. Already very similar. <laughs> four junglers banned out. Digital essentially just says, hold up, hold up, hold up. Olympian played way too well. Got a quadrant in the first four minutes of the game. That's not going to happen this time. This is Ooh. almost identical. They let the Skarner slip through this time, and Degenerates hot on it they take that one right through as they don't want it to be played by olympians so they themselves say we're going to take this one yeah you triple ban him out and then take the fourth champ but then you also give up a, one of the wombowest combos of last game seraphim was a very very huge asset not just for the the very strong uh encores but there were plenty of times uh and key moments where that moonstone proc Help to say yes. it's, it's just gray. He almost got one shot by uh, Darth Carl Ryan on that Vagar. And another one near that near that very end of the game where almost everyone went out of one HP, but the Moonstone brought them back up. And Volibear was getting two towers while while uh, Redacted was getting, while Zinn was getting only one dragon. So that's a very strong pick over there for Hajime or for a Mind Blower himself. But the Sivir in the bot lane is a bit of a departure from what the last thought, the, the last Kaiser, uh, yeah kind of thing was the kaisa Sivir has a couple of build pass probably going to see the lethal tempo honestly but i'm not a big fan of the Sivir here and in, into a, a seraphine and whatever goes up with the seraphine not really a huge fan of it we'll have to see how this how the side of redactor does react to this pickup though right well the stats may or may not lie we'll just have to wait and see but the ergot coming through here looking to be what will be this counter in the top lane reminder we did see that volley bear perform super well in the early game take the two turrets here for redacted on mind blower rush that holding down and while we didn't quite see the presence that we wanted in terms of the rotational ability he still had a lot of presence as a whole which made it super duper difficult but the ergot playing into that i think is going to be a lot stronger than the set this time around especially because it stems further than the set does set has a strong early game and i definitely think falls off and it has to hold its presence in these team fights more specifically whereas ergot i think you can take it toe to toe but redacted drafting the same three champions here first rotation yeah, they really do here, and they have a they have a very strong game plan. They said, well, if it ain't work, if it ain't broke, it ain't one hundred percent win rate, shells. <laughs> like the, the, the numbers support them picking the same comp. So we'll go ahead and do that right there. Uh, the Blitzcrank gets banned away from uh, XX set videos here, and then the Lee Sin. Uh, potentially, maybe this this could be jungle Lee Sin, but I'm not all that sure that I've seen Olympian play too much Lee. This could be a solo lane Lee Sin ban. I'm not sure if anyone plays that either, but that's wow. an interesting ban. But no, Lee Sin and Jarvan means this potentially five straight jungle bans from descent from generous ascension. They are that's they available. understand the win con. The, the win con is Olympian. <laughs> What's he gonna play here? The Heckum? No, Heckum's not there. Uh honestly, right here. What do you what do you do? Echo maybe or oh, maybe please, uh Echo uh What about the Ivern? Living the Ivern out? Wait, is this Volibear jungle? You Volibear rotated down. Make it the switch, throw Cho into the top. Mm -hmm. There. Double smite Smart, maybe. strats, baby. <laughs> Double smite, and you can go over the wall, bring the storm down. I, I love this strat. Volibear as a flex pick. You say, hold up. Okay, you want to pinch my champ pool? Guess what? I already picked, I already my, picked. my champ, and now you wasted two bans on, on ban phase two, and you can't ban out my my uh well top laner number one or my or my uh my my mid laner so with this yumi pickup here from the generous ascension here i'm looking to see how wait now we're just going now we're going crazy we're, we're in the dark mm. technologies part of the of the other of the draft phase this to me looks like a team that is tilted 
This is it's like, a, like a tilt draft to me. That's yeah. one hell of a call, Shells. <laughs> this looks tilt to me. You 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 go hard, hard scaling with the cast in, and you pick up a Yumi in your B four and five picks. This looks to me like you're saying, okay, well, if we can't if we can't do it in the early game, and Skarner has very abysmal pre six ganks, if we can't do this in the early game, then we have to just go out all out and say, late game, maybe Skarner can impale, and then we have Kasten just jumping up over across the map. This this is a is a complete departure from their first game strats. Kind of a departure from what their solo queue kind of uh, champs look like as well. This looks like either desperation or tilt to me. I, I don't know if I'll go that far, man. I'm not one for making that kind of hot take out there. I prefer to stay lukewarm, preferably, so no one gets mad at me afterwards. But no, 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 no. I will say it is an extent of a draft that pairs off last time. Late game scaling, right? And how did late game scaling work out in game one? I don't think it was... T the numbers good. don't support it. The numbers don't the numbers support don't. it. The numbers don't. They don't. All right, Charles, I see what you're saying. But to kind of step away from that, it still is a potential win con you're still looking for yep. the late game success granted mm -hmm. olympian was i wouldn't say lucky but he definitely had an incredible <laughs> incredible start he couldn't have gone any more perfect and trust me mm -hmm. perfect doesn't always happen but to finish off these comps gold fan taking practice from what is his top laner days picking that a truck gonna be stemming in the mid lane yeah so now you have three ocho or oh, could be, it could be Cho, actually. It could Cho, be Cho. Cho mid with Aatrox top would be more more the style here, I would say. I, I, I would like that from Redacted, but the point is that you have three frontliners here, right? You have right. three frontliners that, I mean, they have a good enough shot to go ahead and say, okay, let's just try to to survive the cast and then see if uh, we can we can survive that. It's going to be hard with the Yumi if we if we do see Solar Biscuit. Uh, no, if you do see extra set, set videos sitting on the cast in late game, but I think there's so much pressure, so much early pressure here from Team Redacted that we're going to be looking at a situation where the opposite happens, but it just snowballs. Where last game we saw Dinner's Gen decision, they stacked two dragons and they were able to uh, make those moves, but they weren't able to push their advantage later on. No. Redacted now has a lot of pressure and they have a lot of uh, early game champions that really aren't going to fall off in the same way because of all the health they're going to get. They don't have the healing of a Yumi, but they will ha they'll have a bit of a sustain and just having just all that health built up. It's going to be hard to, one, walk into this team, and then, two, go ahead and win a smite fight. And walking into them, there's a lot, there's a lot of knockups, a lot of CC here from Team Redacted. You're putting a lot of your eggs in the in the Kasdan and the Yumi basket here. Urgot does have a lot of value, but this, this comp into Team Redacted, looks a bit rough yeah i i think it it shapes out to kind of what you were saying a little bit of the mentality that you're playing kind of on the individual strength the scale and it's not quite looking to mesh as it would but i think to kind of pair away from that for a second here gold fan just to go back on this one this is apparently from what i've been informed by my co-caster here dunsey that it is a gold fan a special to run this atrox and he also informs me that it is a great counter into the cassadin wow i would not have known that i yeah, don't not. think i've seen very many atrox <laughs> 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 yeah. so i I'm, my eyes are gonna be glued to this i mean you, you didn't ask the question yet but i'll i'll answer the question i i know you want to ask my eyes are in the mid lane. I, I have to see what an Aatrox versus Kasten looks you read like, my mind. <laughs> and 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 whether and and whether an Aatrox can have the kind of pressure to to uh, get Kasten to to just have a little bit. If he can just push Kasten's uh, his scaling back down, even just just slow down just by four smidge. minutes, four minutes late on uh, getting to level sixteen. If you can get him uh, way behind on items, then you can have a very very strong uh, pathway to dragons and even Rift Heralds. And we've already seen what. What uh what what my blower can do if he's left alone in the top lane by himself, getting advantages and pressure in the top lane. So, whew, my I have to see I have to see what it looks like because this this could be this could be something that really skews the numbers as far as oh, what I want God. to see in all, each and every one of you guys' solo queue games. What, what do you want to see? I never know with you anymore. I right? want to see it. I want to see the it. numbers before I want to see, see it. it. I want to see the numbers supported. I want to see. What it. is it? I, you gotta, you gotta show it to me. You gotta show it to me. I, I gotta see it. It's, it's there. It's there. Open your eyes. You'll find it. It's right there. You're on the path.
<laughs> All right, well, Shells, I'm going to be uh, in need of a third eye here to understand where you're coming from anytime soon. But I do want to get your opinion. What's your thoughts on the gated and set in that bot lane? We saw a really strong presence from the Kaiser last game, right? Mm -hmm. He played it well, had a massive 60 CS lead kill advantage as well. And this time he wraps it back around towards that silver paired with the Yumi. Do you think they find success into this lane? Well, what happened last game was the complete opposite of what I thought was going to be the case, whereas I, I assumed that they would have to have pressure bot lane in order to have very strong presence. They reversed that and said, we're just going to freeze the lane on our side of the map and start, mm -hmm. our side of the lane and then make it so that you have no real chance to safely lane against us. With a uh, Sivir Yumi, you can't do that. You're just not going to do that, especially into an Ash and Seraphine. That's not going to be the plan here. I think we may see, and this, this kind of fits in with the whole game plan of hard scaling. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw uh, Negated go ahead and pick up Cole at some point. Maybe start it or early back into the Cole. They're not trying to fight this lane. I don't think so. I mean, Skarner no. pre-6 with uh, Silver Yumi, I just don't believe in that, especially into a Seraphine Ash. Uh, in post-6, you just can lock it down if you have a vision set up for it, which is a – vision is a, is a four-letter word. But uh, it's – it's. I don't think there's enough real kill pressure with a Silver Yumi lane. So and, – and you can't do what you did last game either. I think the onus is going to be on uh, – on it's just gray and solar biscuit to create pressure and try to keep Siver try to keep uh negated and XXX videos under tower so they can't uh scale up and they can't maybe uh they missed some CS because I do think that the game plan here is just find it get that coal proc it and move forward right I I think that's something to stem off of but we go back to the scaling potential that it may or may not be an issue here for Degenerate's Ascension. We go back to how this comp meshes in pairing, looking at these individual lanes. And while, yes, there is a ticking time bomb, as I would like to call it, in terms of how they come together, it's not looking too strong. The thing is, there's just not a lot of synergy here. And it, 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 I guess maybe I was a little bit too forward when I said it looked like Tilt or Desperation. Okay, what is it then? Oh, it's tilt and desperation. I, I was, I was, oh, I was, I was, okay, okay, I was we're, saying, I, I was a little too poor in the way I was saying it, but I'm, but I'm gonna say it again. It, it, this okay. looks like you we're say, back. what can we, what, what if, we're, if we're behind, if we're behind late, what can win us a game? What can one v nine for us? What, can, what, what, what's, what's the master plan? And if they have something that can potentially almost one shot us, what can we do to give that champion enough, uh, well, extra, extra uh, agency that it already has, but just keep it alive just an inch more, just so we can get that last kill or get away safely enough. And Yumi is is the pickup there. And you have right. the the Skarner and the Urgot. They, they engage. I don't see any engage really. I don't. There's, there's only Flash and Pale. Honestly, uh, there's no real engage. The front line is decent at best, but it doesn't really work well into into redacted front line. You have the <laughs> you're putting all of your eggs in Darth Kylo Ryan's basket, and it's, it's gonna be a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure on him to not get behind early, and then carry late hey well till desperation either way divine ascent or my apologies degenerates ascension are gonna have to rise to the insurmountable task that looks to be set before them we here though we're gonna be taking a short break as we make our way towards the rift so stick around and stay tuned for the second of the third game here tonight
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Excellency's Light League. We're bringing you week one here of Redacted versus Degenerates Ascension. Now, if you're just joining us here, Degenerates Ascension, they've got a history of success here in the Light League, but they find themselves at a deficit or a deficit coming out of game one here. As Team Redacted, a team that has revised its roster coming out of season one, has now stemmed their first victory of the season. So We'll see if they can pull it back or they might find themselves in a worse for wear situation. My name's Zephyr. I'm going to be your play-by-play -play caster for the evening. And joined alongside me is Dunsey as my color. What's going on, man? I, I, I kind of alluded to this idea of first game jitters, but Redacted had none of it. They just came out swinging. Uh, Olympian got a quadra kill, if you guys remember, in like the first five minutes. So oh, God. Was, push that lead so far but what am i doing talking about that when we have an atrox in the mid lane this was a gold fan top lane champ that we saw a lot in the in this in the spring split and he's bringing it to the mid lane it's a good matchup in the cast and a melee physical damage champion against cast and he can do a lot of damage and can uh zone him out and, and he's he's like this bruising type uh, cast should not be able to farm very much in this lane i'm telling you right now i'm looking for that cs gap on gold fan well we'll have to wait and see if the truth is beheld here <laughs> it will evolve at any given point and like shellatron was bringing up in our pre-show it's just four minutes four minutes of stem time here away from darth kylo ryan is enough to change the pacing of this late game as a whole but either way late game uh, was not the name of the series here for game one of degenerate ascension so uh, running it back with the same win con thoughts on that dunzi it's even more scaling on the side of Degenerates right now. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about it. Uh, Sting in the chat did mention, you know, Cast Yumi at 25 minutes is GG, but they have mid lane scaling, they have bot lane scaling. It's, it's not just scaling, they don't have any um, facilitation. They don't have. Oh my god, the defense already taking two tower shots. Okay. Don't dive. <laughs> yeah, that was a little questionable. But they, they don't have, um, as the spell shield misses there, sorry to get it. They don't have any tools to even maneuver these early to mid game skirmishes. So um, I'm a little bit concerned there. The Yumi's going to scale really well, but oh man, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Goldfan doing the deeps. Uh, it's going to be scary for wrap up my point in Degenerates to make any sort of. <laughs> I was about to say, speaking of scary, negated, pressured yeah. out to force on that heal. He still has the flash available given the chance here. Throws that spell shield out, pulls it back with the boomerang, but he flashes anyways, but it doesn't matter. It's just Gray finds the auto when he needs to. Huge disrespect from negated there, though. Yeah, that's that's so bad for them. I mean, the, the Yumi hopped off for a second, and then negated was uh, had oh, really bad luck. Hold the thought, oh, Dunzi. Gunner. Hajime for the collapse. Flash comes through. Can't quite find the pullback, but you've got Dark Kyle over on the side. Thunder from the sky. Gold fan stepping up. Shield available there, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. As Gunner's coming in hot. Stun out. Damage gone. Hajime finds that kill in response. You've got Mr. Mime Thrower over on the side here, but no kills to be found. Good response from Degenerates, essentially. Yeah, that was a really, really nice pick there. Um, finding Olympian, just a little bit too over aggressive. Unfortunately, I don't think, um, I don't think Redacted saw it, but Darth Kylo missed his flash on his side of the wall on that little river kind of oh. bush area. Did he tried to flash over. He, he fail flashed it. He tried to go ah. over and secure the kill on Olympian. Don't bring don't, that up. That's toxic. We just let it slide. We just say Redacted flash is no expended. <laughs> so, so you know, it's, it's not information that they can play around. So we're we're, we're gonna just. You know, pretend I mean, on the side of redacted yeah. they can't really take advantage of it if they didn't see it they would have had to have been paying attention to the actual map there what? look oh, at those that shotgun thing. knees hajime no gildo pressuring out my mind blow we're gonna be sending him back to base here shortly but that is something to stem off of playing with those double buffs he just got off of the hands there of gunner or i mean oh, I I heard was it? someone's gotta kind of oh, my apologies olympia Tell, teach me how Urgot works. Is that his Q? Is that his E doing all that work? I don't even know how this champion does the deeps, but it, it's just massive. And keep, keep in mind, Mindblower picked the Cho'Gath into the Urgot, which I didn't really think was a super good matchup for him, and, and it's already showing right now. Urgot just doing so much damage at the top lane. Right. 
Either way, here in the mid, Gold getting poked out respectively there. If he steps up, it could look bad. Chaining in, Olympian over on the side. Stun available. Pulled by tongue, I must. Gold fan finding a great kill off that stemmed gank. Yeah, I mean, oh, you, Yumi gets rooted. That's exactly what they need to do in the bot lane is, is just not allow her to hop off. back. Yeah. <laughs> You know, the thing is, I love playing Yumi, but I never got to play it on Lotus. Um, Alistair, the ADK, hated the champ, but that's neither here nor there. Step Videos is on it right now. His team believes in him. You can do a lot of little things with Yumi and bait out CC and even tank some skill shots for your team. Um, you can't tank the Asher, but for instance, uh, what's something here you can tank? Actually, not not really anything on this team, so never mind. He can't do it in this scenario. Good point. Um, there's not a lot of projectiles block, quote unquote, you know what I mean? Um, but he does have the bop and block, so hopping off and, and providing the shield there. And... Right. Uh, I mean, I agree with you on this side of the spectrum, but I will say, in terms of pacing into game two here, negated and set respectively are uh, a bit slower to the take this time around. And I think the prowess was the fact that they had that Leona, they had the Kaiza combo that does stem very, very well early. And this time around, they can definitely get punished and pushed back by that Ash Seraphine combo that we saw. So, yeah, not a CS lead in, in their future, I'd say. And I do like what Solar Biscuit is doing. If he if he's doing what I think he's doing is rushing an Oblivion Orb with that early Amp Tome here, um, just kind of negating the healing from set videos. It's so annoying to deal with in a Yumi lane, and it's very efficient. So um, we'll see if he picks that up. But here comes a two v two. Yep, they're pulling into the bush there, and again, held up there by Set with those heals, and they do find a good trade. But Just Gray's looking equally as low for the response there. So. Who really comes out on top, Dunsey? Yeah, I mean, no one when Yumi's on there the top, I would say. <laughs> but here we are. I mean, here comes a gank in the top lane. Mm. I he spotted it out too early there. I don't think they're ever going to be stunning that through, especially without Impale on Gunner yet. Yeah. I mean, I haven't even noticed this. There's a two-level disparity right now on Mindblower. Uh, Hajime massive in, in in here and all he has is a dorns with he hasn't even based yet as soon as he goes back home to the fountain talk to the shopkeeper what's going on grab a beer grab some items you know <laughs> and teleport back in he's gonna just completely shred this dinosaur i mean it's, it's not gonna be any is match it, no you don't call cho a dinosaur what is he i mean uh... He's like a void creature dude yeah, dinosaur is almost like a like a uh, what is it called a demotion what? What are you talking about? Dinosaurs, dinosaurs are, are cool, but void dinosaurs are better. Yeah, he's a void dinosaur. He's still yeah, dinosaur. Okay, then be more specific next time. Uh, that's, that's not my strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but I mean, like you have this top lane lead from Ajime on the same side. We, we talked about this gold fan just pushing in the wave and Darth Kylo Ryan having such a hard time keeping up as well. So it's it's on Aatrox and on Urgot right now, but unfortunately for Redacted, Cassid and Skill's a lot harder than Void Dinosaurs ever. I I think so. It's on the same presence for that as well, but we'll have to wait and see the rest of Degenerate's Ascension here. Oh, my apologies, Redacted here are looking to be in good pacing across the board, so Hopefully they, they stem it a bit further, or maybe we see Degenerates pull this one back around here. I mean, uh, I mean, the Redacted is looking to help him a little bit. Oh, Hajime's mm -hmm. going in in trouble. Yeah. Shotgun knees, passive exploding. Olympians coming, though, for the response to stun the crab man out. Big Stormbringer to finish this one off as Olympian picks that up in the bot. But now, Gunner Nee in a good spot to see a possible return gank. There's that last shot to go for the root. The Encore coming its way, but Gunner's on the response in this backside. He saves the Impale for Solar Biscuit. Pulled back, suppressed out. No mana to play with, and a double found onto the belt here of Gunner. And this is something... Okay, so I really, really want to harp on Redacted right now because they just saw their own jungler go into the top lane and successfully secure a kill. That was awesome by Olympian. Um, they caught out Hajime there. You have to back off. Why are you fighting on the weak side of the map, right? And I think this is something that a lot of teams do kind of miss. Um, I'm going to be paying attention to it as we go on through the season. Is Hajime might get another solo kill. Mm, Hajime looking pretty and pretty well obtained here. Olympian in no place to go for a response. So one quick auto, and that'll be all but done here for Mr. Cho'Gath.
Yeah, but uh, here comes Olympian. He wants blood. Yeah, Olympian on the response. I don't think he's gonna find anything, Benzi. There, yeah. There's nothing. They have a teleport available, but with the wave where it's at, yeah, Hajime's I, fine. I guess berries don't beat crabs right now, but <laughs> it's just uh, there's actually a lot of animals again. There's, we got a cat, we got a scorpion, we got a. I guess he's a crab. I think that's a demotion. <laughs> I, I suppose he's not a crab. I guess he has legs, but uh, yeah, that's neither here nor there. The problem with redacted, listen, is they they saw their top lane gank and then they took a fight. You can't do that. That's my point. That's all. All right, that took roughly 90 seconds to get that one out, but still, it's valid. You see the top lane presence and then you say, you know what? This is a good idea. Let's go in. Let's go in. And Gunner Nee says, that is a fantastic idea. Just not for you, maybe for me instead, and finds that kill. Pretty respectable, and now can stem that lead out a bit further into some of these additional lanes here, whether it be into the top or respectfully towards the bot. We'll have to wait and see, but a good presence on Hajime will stem a, an aggressive front that may play out very well here for Degenerate, so keep a keen eye on that. Yeah, and uh, we, we are starting to see some kind of mythic itemization coming out here. We're all working towards it. Um, I, I'm disappointed that we don't see the Oblivion Orb from Solar Biscuit. I think that in these trades, you just have so much efficiency from that compo uh, from that component item that it's so worth delaying your Mythic in this case. But instead, um, just working his way towards that Battle Glass Mirror and, and towards his Mythic. Um, Skarner, the first one on the map with that item, got that Turbo Chem take. And he might use it in the bot lane here pretty soon. Yeah, he might put that one to good use here. You see Solar Biscuit's rotation here for the ward setup. This is a bait. Yeah, it's a strong bait. Gunner is in a great spot to capitalize at any given point here as that ward stems back to its health. Smite, slow, Olympians there for the response. Stunned with the final chapter, coming through to get the double root on court. Gets a great charm as an arrow is stemmed for a massive stun. It's one for one, but there's a teleport here coming from Dark Kylo Ryan looking for just great, but Olympians doing a good job to front this one back. Gold fan, world ender on the response, looking for something as Gunner wants blood. Gets that stun off though to make sure He's uh, beating on out there with the passive on that one. Now Dark Kyron in a position worse for wear as Goldfan gets the response he so well desires. Two kills up here for the side of Redacted. Yeah, that that was really messy. I mean, a lot of flashes blown, a lot of summaries. I'm, I'm glad these people are, are these players are utilizing, you know, their, their cooldowns here and, and they're not afraid to make plays. Both teams are baiting each other. It's kind of funny to um, Olympian on the Volibear was hiding in fog while Solar Biscuit was trying to make herself like this, you know, very scrumptious Seraphine <laughs> to gobble up as a scorpion here. And, and um, she did get caught out, but, you know, she got the Encore drop down before um, she died, and it, it was a great massive ultimate that allowed her team to follow up. And Goldfan, unfortunately, with a, you know, a little bit of this flash again there, too. So, um, oh my gosh. Chase as well, and, um, wasn't able to, to, to find that uh... <laughs> that knock that he could have had. I'm telling you, man, they could have cleaned that up a little bit better, but um, ended up okay for Redacted nonetheless. Uh... I'm gonna be nitpicky on Gold Fan. He's a veteran. I'm not being nitpicky. I'm nitpicky on the fact that they just threw Rip down on Blue. <laughs> oh, I mean, they got a few plates. <laughs> You know what, I, I actually completely missed that. I thought he was um, juggling Gromp with blue buff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get your creatures right here. You're over here talking about animals. You can't even tell the neutral creeps apart here on the rift. Yeah. I mean, Shelly just kind of looks like a like a pregnant Skarner, huh? What do you think? Whoa. Okay. Let us. <laughs> yes, let us not. Skarner. No. no, no, we're not even going to begin that conversation. The bot lane, though, that's what I want to talk about. Double all engage root on a just gray off of that enchanted crystal arrow to dissuade the playing of any further aggression there. I love that response from set videos. Yeah, I, I thought that was trouble there for negated, but I mean, Yumi play, man. Yumi gameplay, just dissuading the, the team of Redacted from following up. I'm telling you, they need <laughs> they need heal cut. I'm going to keep harping on it. They need heal cut. If one of these guys needs to buy an Executioner's or an Oblivion Orb or a Thormail, someone, please. Yumi is just going to scale so hard unless you get that heal cut. 
Absolutely, and funny thing to note here, Olympian coming for that lane gank, spotted out so easily by the double ward in these side lane bushes, and finds nothing in response there, so just going to clear that one back, realize he's at a bit of a disadvantage, and hopefully look towards somewhere else here. None of these other lanes are in a great position for him to find any oppressive gank, if need be. He could go top, but is that really where he wants to spend his time? Yeah. I don't think so right now. You, you called it. It's it's instead all on the Drake. Um, it's so point coming up for Redact that they quietly secured two Drakes, and instead it's been the top lead focus for Degenerates, who have a massive lead up here. Mind Blower is doing okay, just surviving, but he might die. Oh my goodness. Oh, good flash to stem off that fear beyond death there. So nothing to be found here for Hajime, but it does go back to show that this lane is at such a skewed point here for the side of Redacted. They're finding no success in Mind Blower, and while he just has to stay live, become something of a front for these later game team fights, Hajime's looking great for that further future. 3v3. Ooh, big enchanted crystal air finds the stun. Encore, big charm, pulling it back, negated with the bounce but there's the dive from Olympian to further find that kill. Negated there, going down his garden. He plays off the impale hollow foot with a teleport on Hajime to pick up the first initial response there. Flashes forward, solar biscuit too low to find the escape. It's going to be a double there for the side of Degenerate's Ascension. And That's they, the air guy. They were on top of that, Hajime flying in there and they're making their way up to he's the not arrow. done he's yeah. not done gunner Open need here to start it off big stun to find this one hajime on the slow as well world ender gonna come out here to extend the speed a bit but he can't quite find his way out massive heal but it's not gonna be enough another shutdown into the hands here of hajime no guild now and the crab just has Ter raining terror over the entire rift right now from top to bot through the mid lane finding gold fan this is a big time carry performance from hajime right now i am loving this erg god they i mean they didn't really blind pick it uh because they thought it could have been volibear and he did get you know quote unquote counter picked against and no doubt five and one with the stride breaker ton of gold in his pocket right now 400 gold bounty on his head he is massive absolutely a dastardly force and to pair off that gunner's looking great too stemming further ganks into this bot lane consecutively he's found himself in a very pretty lead and while the success hasn't been great for negated at any given point he's still looking very good for those potential fights later when you really need the scarner to get on top of what it could be just gray or solar biscuit yeah, and I'm wondering, I, I'm so I'm honestly just very, very uh, lacking in knowledge on like Ergot builds, Ergot kind of skills, but he doesn't have teleport, he just based, and this could be a redacted soul point. We're going to see a fight break out once again. Could be a steal attempt from Gunner, but he doesn't have flash and there's no blast plants available. He's going to have to go in there and just smite fight this. Ooh, my apologies there. The team doesn't follow their falling pull this one out, and they're actually going to back off. Give this one over to Degenerate's Ascension. It looks like Go Phantom Mew with that World Ender to possibly go for the response, but it looks like it was called back in the comms there because everyone is dissuaded. They pull back, and they just say, you know what? We've got two on the belt already, one Infernal. That's it. Yeah, they, they if they could hard committed right from the get-go, they could have secured that Drake, but they possibly would have paid for it with a few lives. Um, they did all pull out, you're right, like, they, they was, it was clear communication from the side of Redacted. Um, the Drake actually reset for a moment, which I think was what the turning point was to make that decision. And so they give it up, this isn't a bad, bad call, Cho'Gath was able to trade a tower on the top side. But if you're degenerate right now, you're feeling great. Whoa! Enchanted Crystal Arrow in the Encore! That's an easy pickup for It's Just Greg. Gunner Knee looking for some sort of response there, slow, but... Nothing to play off of. He burned the heal. He did burn the heal, and ooh, Gold Fan finding his way. Big flash there to try to find on the set videos. The final chapter not quite going to land anywhere as the healing oh, keeps oh, him oh. alive as Mind Blowers finds that feast onto set. Now Hajime in a poor position there as his shotgun knees aren't doing enough, and it's the bear from far away. There you go, Dunzi. Bear finally beats Crab. Uh, yeah, apparently, and you know what else? I I, I knew that Void Dinosaurs and, and Cho'Gats were right. <laughs> I didn't know I didn't know that they eat cats for dinner and that's what Mind Blower just did he chopped the Yumi out of existence the thing I mean like chomp is so good 
or feast, I should say, into Yumi because she does not build any nothing. <laughs> she doesn't need it, right? So she's a straight utility itemization champion, and so the it, because it's true damage on the feast, he does so much percentage of health um, of the Yumi uh, HP bar, and so man, like she had half her health right there, and Cho'Gath just one shot her. That feels so bad. Um, Goldfan did a really, really good job of making sure that he kept the CC on her, and she couldn't right. hop back onto somebody and anchor. And then Olympia, of course, securing that solo kill in the presence coming out of the woodworks yeah. there. Absolute Chad. <laughs> yeah, he, he really did all the work there. All the, they might as well ban the Volibear now next time. You're right. You're right. I don't know if they can stem six ban spots yeah. his way, but they're going to definitely try here in game three. <laughs> they, you know what? They have slowed him down, um, but he still played well on the volley. I, I kind of like it. It is a really strong flex pick here from Redacted. So um, good drafting strategy from them. Still, though, it's a ticking time bomb, Zephyr. It's 21 right. minutes. Man, one kill, but it's 5k gold difference. You don't really really feel that right now. I guess the turrets are all out, all down on the side of Degenerates. Yeah, and that's stacks where up. a lot of the gold is, so... Um, dang, it's 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 a lot bigger than I Surprising, thought. Surprising, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so for a team that hasn't been looking too secured in their position and only recently just found a fight that looked favorable, or favorable, um, it's very surprising to see that 5 goalie, but like you said, it stems a lot off those turrets. And now that rift coming down there, pretty big expenditure to go into a clear waste there. So nothing to be found, but at that point, it's 21 minutes. There's not much you can really do with that, and given that you don't find an appropriate team fight to play around. But ooh, gold fan here, finding a good route that on the hunt doesn't actually get him out of it, but it didn't matter. Stormbringer gonna be thrown out pretty loosely there from Olympian. He knows he's in the poor position, so he jumps out. Now, Goldfan, Worldender, speeding himself up to escape. That's a pretty brutal flash from Hodgman to look for the kill, but they're gonna go for the response. Either way, big stun. Gunner needs a point to contest here as a good encore gets the double back set with the final chapters. Gunner's pulling Mind Blower, but he still goes down to the hands of It's Just Grey. That's gonna be a big fear on death. The Force Mind Blower back as Olympia goes down the gate, and Kyle Kiting moves back into the alcove. They go, but Mind Blower's on the chase. Big blast, double kill, turns his attention to Hajime as he's trying to stem one last kill on the Solar Biscuit, but a big flash may prevent that one. Either way, set with the massive missile stun. Finds this one out now. I'm just great. The next one point of action the dash forward Hajime no trying to find this one the slow comes through here from set But they can't quite find it just as the slows and knockups continue and it's the feast that prevents the kill a missed missile for a full team ace here for the side of redacted and that was so close it was almost the Hajime show with a little bit of set videos just trying to keep them alive I'm, dude as soon as as soon as redacted by a single heel cut item that fight is nowhere near close i am telling you they are literally one i like one component of an item away from just wiping these team fights and it might be too late you're hitting that 25 minute mark here really really soon cast is going to scale up he's four levels away from that coveted level 16 power spike and he's in the side lane getting his exp right now they're going to give up soul point for it but that is what the generous win con is right now. You're looking at an infernal soul in five minutes, or can the Cassid and Yumi scale hard enough for them to fight back? I don't know if it's gonna be something that that oppressive, but man, Redacted is looking great. They put themselves in a major deficit early, but they stem a massive lead off of Olympian and Goldfan, and now it's carried its way all the way to the bot lane where it's just Gray is looking so strong on this Ash. A completely different vibe compared to oh, game yeah. one, where they were super behind, 40, 60 CS, and you saw a presence from the Gata as a whole. So, massive potential for team fights. Played it incredible, front to back, and while Hajime was absurd like with that yumi on top of him this guy just did not go down and it goes back to a lot of that heel cut we discussed but either way it's rough into these team fights yeah the the, uh, the bramble vest was finally picked up but they need a little bit more um uh, hajime is just he had such this an early lead but even mind blower now has come back he was really down in the dumps right right it was, was just a little dinosaur it was all done he, he literally just picked up three of those kills there <laughs> yeah and now he has a 500 gold bounty on his head it's insane how hard that swung um hajibe can no longer just kind of bully in a side lane 
and, and take that Cho'Gath out. So um, he'll still be a threat in team fights up in the front. And it's going to be kind of just these big boys. You saw that 5v5 really, really slowly kind of clash. They were like two planets just colliding. <laughs> these giant tanks are just so massive right now. Um, the, the carries can't do as much damage. I'm waiting for the casters, man. It's going to be soon. Well, hopefully soon enough here. Redactor are still in a great spot. Gunner Knee here, gonna get caught out, launched. Enchanted Crystal Arrow, big charm to stem it as well as Olympians in his back line. Stormbringer to go forward, doesn't quite find it. But Goldfan diving in his back is gonna be picking this one up. Hajime gets a good fear, but it's not before Goldfan gets the double kill off into this back line. And he steps it even further for the triple. Turns his attention to Kylo Ryan, but the Rift Rock gonna make sure that he finds his way onto safety. But that's a good knockup for Mind Blower. At this point, just walk out, man. There's not much you can do to defend this lane any further. That was a triple kill, huh? Yeah. Oh, man. Aatrox Zephyr. mid. <laughs> Zephyr, I gotta... I kinda gotta... Uh, I, gotta I, I gotta admit something to you right now. I gotta complain. Okay. So that triple kill. That was like well, a Goldfan special. Goldfan was uh, a possible Lotus White player. Who oh, was not selected and then might come back to haunt us. He's looking good, man. He just oh got a triple kill God. off his patented mid lane Aatrox. I am fearing right now for anyone who steps into this man's path. He's coming back for with a vengeance. The Ziggs looks pretty good. The Aatrox looks great right now. Um, five, two, and four. You saw the, the Gore Drinker healing a couple of uh, yeah. catches ago, right? And he's, yeah, he's playing well. Gold fan here. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, just to throw some narrative into the mix here, Goldfan and Olympian coming from the old Merciless roster here, which is actually broken into two separate teams coming into this split, essentially, right? And Merciless struggled all the way up into the end and just barely missed playoffs, losing their last couple of games into it. And now, the absolute two prowess of teams that have stemmed off of this, it's crazy. It is insane. Goldfan Olympian on Redacted and Lotus White there with Necrox and I believe Fire Streaks. Yeah, Alucard and Fire Streaks came from Dark Side Academy, so they kind of merged, ah. right? Um, another Lotus Org team that, that combined, but yeah, this. It's going to be interesting to watch. I agree. <laughs> yeah, and, and remember, it's this degenerate reformed team that Kylo and Gunner were on that kicked Merciless out of the playoffs and allowed them to take the entire. Uh, the entire league they won, right? So, right, a uh, little bit of a revenge story here for Goldfan and Olympian to kind of say, Hey, we're not just gonna fold, man, we're here to play. Oh, big back and on to the hit here for Mindblow, but he's just so tanky. Charm coming away, Solar Vision pull back, and now Olympian Goldfan rotating all the way around, finding their way into a massive slew of kills here. The chase ensues. Olympian Goldfan, Darth Kylo Ryan is able to stem his way out with another Rift Rock, but does it even matter? It's so free on the board. Whether you want Soul, whether you want Baron, you can have them both, baby. Yeah, the big boys up front, just massive tanks, and they're hungry. They say, we want both Baron and Drake. It's both on the menu. Give it all to us. We want the buffet. Uh, they're going to take both the Purple Nash and the Infernal Soul here, and this is just completely all redacted in the driver's seat. AK gold lead. Um, it, it should be a march down the side lanes now to uh, eventually get a triple in him and just end this game with the next team fight with him. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see, but that team fight presence is just so obnoxious, and it goes back all the way to the very start when we were in draft. This composition here from the side of Degenerate Ascension, while it has some solo strengths, just doesn't play well into each other, and it really just feels like they're relying on Hajime to an absurd degree at this point. Yeah, he can't do it all on his own at this point. Um, Negated's having a rough go at it this game after playing so well on the Kai'Sa. Um, it's unfortunate. He, he, the spell shields haven't been there, right? Uh, he missed it a little bit on the Encore two fights ago and couldn't find any, any clutch spell shields to bait out some big key CC abilities from Redacted. Um, so that's been a problem. And at this point, you know, he could eventually scale up to do enough to these front lane tanks. The Ricochet would do a ton of damage. Um, in this big kind of meatball composition that Redacted is running. But right, at, right now, he's sitting at 
one and a half items, right? There's two components in his inventory. Uh, does have some heal cut, but uh, to, to affect the Seraphine and, and some Cho'Gath, even Aatrox, it's just not enough. It's yeah. just not enough. It's, yeah. it's, it's far from where you need to be at this given point, and that's something that can be said for a lot of the teammates here on Degenerate Ascension right now, especially looking at someone like Darth Kylo Ren, who needs to be a late game prowess at this point, because it's just so difficult to play into what you have redacted throwing at you here, and they're pushing this turret quite aggressively without minion wave. They're looking to take it. <laughs> <laughs> My Mino can take it. He can take yeah, it, I know, I... but geez. Uh... He can take anything. And throw throw the whole kitchen sink at him. He's doesn't matter, man. Throw the bathtub at him. Let's talk about something a little bit bigger. But now Hajime No going in deep here. We get the triple root for Mind Blower with a massive feast. Redacted now cleaning up the fight step by step. Negated wasn't even available. Double flash. Olympia chasing for it. There's the flash from Negated into Fountain. He goes. But the absolute sheer destructive burst there. And that, that wasn't even a fight, Dunzi. No, it was just mass murder, and I mean, there's four dead. They should be able to just cleanly finish this off. You see my lure back up a little bit, and this is it, man. Redacted got the first two wins oh. in this series. <laughs> Olympian with some swag, saying ban out more champs. Show me what you've got. <laughs> I'm going to play anything, baby. I don't know if I'll be playing anytime soon, but Redacted here just looking absurd. Mind blower flexing, showing just how much he can tank at the very last moment there. Taking it into game two here. They find themselves in a little bit of a loss early. Still stem their way back to victory. Yeah, I mean, they're just all throwing their bodies into the fountain with a little bit of swag there. and They're feeling confident going into this third game. Yeah, absolutely. So with that being said, though, we're going to throw this back over to Shellatron here to get some analysis on why these leads are so prevalent and why Redacted is looking as good as they are tonight.